Hey everyone, what's going on? So today, I'm just gonna be modifying this moped that I bought. And so before we start, just the two reasons of why. One is because I'm really lazy and I'm tired of walking around at the track. And two is because I'm really cheap and I didn't wanna have to buy a legit pit bike. <laughs> so this is what I bought. Paid 240 bucks for this thing. Yes, it does run. It actually runs pretty decent. I mean, run like any other 50cc moped and how it should. But anyways, so just gonna strip it all down and chop the frame apart and make it super small and compact so that way I can load it up into the back of a car or whatnot. Um, I didn't realize that those pit bikes were so expensive when I started looking for them. I'm like, dude, I'm not dropping a grand on a Honda Sierra 50 or 500 bucks on some Chinese ass bike. So I found this for cheap and I'm gonna chop it up and have some fun with it. So let's get started on it. Are you guys confused yet? So, the next part that I'm gonna be doing, and I'm about to tell you is a little hood, but I don't really plan on doing much of this besides, like I said, just riding it around in the pits area. So, for anybody who wants to do this, don't go and try to jump it off something. I mean, to be honest, I know we're gonna send it and we're probably gonna jump it but what I'm about to do is not gonna make it very strong, so bear with me. I got the front forks off as you can see. I was being an idiot and couldn't figure out how the handlebars came off for a little bit. But, now hopefully you guys can follow me. So what I don't like about this is how high the handlebars are and I don't like uh, how far it comes out this way. So I want to, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it right back here. So right here where like the base of the frame is, right? I'm gonna cut this here, here, and take this whole piece off. What I'm gonna do then is I'm going to cut this all the way down to this, right? And so that's gonna make the handlebars sit whatever this distance is, about five, five to six inches shorter. And then two, so since I'm cutting that tube down and shortening it, I also have to shorten this piece right here, this piece. Now, now, listen, like I said, this isn't very safe. I don't know if exactly if this is just regular steel or if this is some type of cast, but I know it is mild. And like I said, it's not a good idea for you to do this, but I'm a cheap ass and I'm lazy and this is what I wanna do and I wanna make my little pit pad. So, like I also what I'm gonna do is I'm going to modify this back piece so that it doesn't sit so high. I'm gonna chop it somewhere in here I'm going to angle it like this and make it more flat and make it not as long also. So like I said, I wanna be able to load this up in my car by myself and not have any issues with that. And I also want it really small so that way it's just not so big and bulky. Before I get too ahead of myself, I just wanna show you guys what I've gotten done so far. So I did shorten this all up. Once this thing will focus. As you can see, here's the weld. Dude, why are you being such a piece of shit right now? As you can see, there's a weld right there. This piece in here, the actual like, part doesn't touch the forks, I shortened that also. Worked really well. Um, it isn't perfectly straight, of course, so when it turns, there's like a little bit of like, weird like teeter to it, but it, I don't think it's anything you'll ever notice. Um, beveled them all, of course. And yeah, it shortened that up a lot. Shortened those bars up a lot, so now, of course, I chopped this piece off down here too, so it shortened it. Got that all cleaned up. I got this over here. 
and I actually think, I'm actually pretty excited. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's perfect yet, but I was just kinda like somewhat sitting on it with the bars out. And once I lower this seat down, it should work pretty good actually. And it shouldn't be too like ghetto. So once I get this tacked up, I'll show you. Flip this thing upside down. I got these bottom pieces welded. Not gonna focus. But yeah, nothing right home about. Just some ordinary good enough welds. This thing is so junk. But yeah, flip back over, weld the other pieces, and then go about modifying this seat portion. So I'll add these two pieces off. So now basically what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna make this lower, is just kinda go like this, right? Except I'm gonna drop these. So, like I said, I'm gonna remake this shock mount. I'm gonna put it, the shock mount up higher, so that way it drops these down. But I'm gonna have these just barely clear the carb right here. So the seat should be pretty nice and low. And it should work out pretty good. I'm pretty short, but I mean those pit bikes will be shorter than this, so I think it should be pretty easy for anybody to ride, really. Damn, Daniel. This thing looks like it's so ghetto. Definitely is a little bit smaller. Um, not as small as I thought it'd be, but it's definitely not bad. Um, I'm gonna run all the wires and everything back in place and zip tie them like on the frames and try to hide some of them. And I'm probably going to cut all the stuff I don't use and just kind of either tape it or just make sure they don't touch. But yeah, it came out all right. I mean, I added that bar just that way it doesn't talk on me, like I said. I mean, this shit's kind of hood, this is hood. But I think it should work pretty good. And then, so what I'm doing for now is I'm just using this seat. I'm just gonna take a whole bunch of bailing wire and wrap it. I'm gonna set this down on the bar and then wrap bailing wire through here and around the bar just like this. Ow. But yeah. So. <laughs> So I'm just gonna be re reusing the stock moped seat for now. The gas tank is a little bit hood also. It just kind of sits up like this. It sits on this bar because of how um, the, foot, the, the feed is off the tank. If I sat it in there how it's supposed to go, it would sit like this and it would only get air. So yeah, I wasn't able to do that. But so I just basically bolted in these two bolts right here and then just set the gas tank on top of it. I'll show it once it's all together. So what I'm gonna do right now is put it back together and spray paint it all and then put the seat on and then go rip it. Check this thing out, dude. Oh God, it's so stupid. It's so stupid yet so funny. I rattle canned all of it black as you saw in the previous clip. And to be honest, it's like the perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big. I should be able to pick it up and load it up real easy. And yeah, it's just a little bit bigger than Lucy too. Lucy, come here, come here Lucy, come here. Come here, come here, sit, sit down, sit. Sit, stay, stay, stay. Ooh. But yeah, anyways, you can see, it's just a little bit bigger than Lucy too, so it's pretty small still. It's got this big ass gas tank on it also. But yeah, and the seat's just zip tied on right now, but it's pretty, pretty dope. So that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the pit ped, I'm making it and chopping down a moped that was 240 bucks. It'll be the perfect little pit bike, pit ped thing at the track. So that's all I'm excited about. The reason why I kind of just rigged it is because tomorrow there's going to be a CSO Colorado Street Outlaw event down at Pueblo, and I'm going to be going to that, going with Derek, the old sandbagging assassin, old Liam Neeson's going to be out there, so if you guys want to come out there, check that out, that's happening on Saturday, I believe, I believe if you go to the, the Cardinal Street Outlaws Facebook page, they'll have all the info on that event, 
You guys can check that out. I'll be out there, Derek will be out there. I'm probably gonna go down a little bit early down to the springs and help him with his truck a little bit. I'm not too sure, get some food and whatnot. Either way, I'm gonna go down there tomorrow because I don't like driving up in the morning. So I just stay at his house. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check me out on Facebook, Instagram. Check out my website if you need a manifold, etc., etc. If you wanna get a hold of me, ask me a question, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, see ya. Jesus. <laughs>